Good morning, ladies of calculus. Welcome again to room 15, where it never ends. Seems like it's in. We, what happens? I have everybody's test now. I haven't, I haven't corrected them. I haven't graded them yet. I'll plan to do that over the weekend. I was hoping to do that yesterday, but I got, I, I had to see if I could get a pad that worked, and I did. I got it shipped yesterday, but I had to. The, the battery and the pen weren't working, so I had to cannibalize my other pads to make this one work. And so that's how, see now, so what happens, see now it's working because the pad itself is good. So, just a lot of work. So we got done, if I'm not mistaken, this is the last place we got, is that right? Yeah, I'm so confused. You said you had to cannibalize your writing pad, but like... So what is the meaning of that? I know it cannibalism because what, ha what happens is when I say when, when I when I say cannibalize, what I meant is that I'm I'm using this thing for spare parts. See. Oh, so you're taking parts from there. I'm taking parts them. from this one, so I could use there. What I did when I held it up, I just dropped a bunch of screws on the ground. Oh well. For dramatic effect, I'll see if I can. Can find, I can see another one there. Yeah, so there's one more that I'm missing someplace. That's okay. I don't need, since I've cannibalized, I don't need to have all the screws there. So I'll be good. All right. So that's what I meant. Nobody's ever heard of that definition before of cannibalizing? No. The only cannibal eyes or cannibalism that I know is like people. Also, I feed chicken to my chickens. Okay. <laughs> So your chickens are cannibals if yeah. they don't know it or not. Yeah. yeah. Well, they, they don't know it, but they are, yeah. I also throw eggs in there, like rotten eggs, uh -huh. in there, and the dog food, too. Okay. Yeah. My cousin was fishing and cut a small catfish for bait, and I was like, why don't we use this regular bait? He was like, catfish will eat anything as long as he's rotting. And I was like, catfish will eat catfish? Yeah. Yeah. How do they do that anyway? Like they eat a little. Yeah, yeah that's true. Okay. So well, that's some pleasant. Oh, I think I found all my screws now. Look at that. I found all of them, Elizabeth. I knocked them all off. I found them. Isn't that great? Okay. So anyway, we're to this one, right? So we have if if the integral from a to b of f x dx equals a plus two b, then what is this thing right here? What is what is this equal here? Didn't we do five? No. Okay, we'll go back to five first. Because I, I wasn't aware. I thought we had done this. So, so anyway, what we have for this one is, but it's 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 using it's using the same thing. And one thing I did is I did the calculus T-shirt one, right? Did I do that one? I didn't do the calculus T-shirt one. I wasn't here. Okay, let me show you. We'll show you. It's a calculus t shirt. Actually, no, I think I wrote a calculus t shirt. It's the one that I have. Not this one, the other one. It's the, there's two people in the world who understand calculus. Yeah, so it's, so it's this one right here, right? We did that one. Yeah, we did. That's what I'm saying. That's what I said. Yeah. So this is two. That equals two? That equals two. Let me, I'll show you just in case, right? So. Since Kaylee, she just wasn't let in on the joke. All right. So basically, what you're doing. So basically, what you're doing is that can be equal to eight times the integral from zero to one, x cubed dx. And so what we're going to do is taking the integral of this. We're going to have eight, and what's going to be our integral of of x to the third power. x to the fourth divided by four. And then then when we when we do our definite integration, we add this layer to it. Okay, you go and you put this type of notation to the right. That means so after you've integrated, instead of putting plus c, you make this little vertical line looking thing. 
and put your limits of integration in the place of what these, these are here. And what this means is that you're taking, you're taking this, which, which, of course, that's 2, right? So that's 2, and that's going to be 2 times 1 to the 4th power minus 2 times 0 to the 4th power. And what is 1 to the 4th power? 1. So that's going to be 2 minus 0 equals 2. So that's how, that's how we get to our answer from that. Okay, so, it's, so when you do the definite integral, that's how it works. You go ahead and put that in place. And so we're going to apply this concept to the next problem right here. So this is how we got, the, we got that t-shirt with. There are, in fact, people are interested in seeing it. Next one? Yeah. Okay. So what you're doing is you're you're layering on what we've been doing with our indefinite integrals, but you're layering in now using specific numbers for that. So that, that's what we're doing here. Now in this one, what I would do is simplify it here a little first. If you have x to the if you go ahead and expand this out, you're going to get x over x squared minus 4 over x squared, which is going to be x to the negative 1 power minus 4x to the negative 2 power. Is that right? Yeah, I didn't do this one. This is one. Yeah, I don't know why they do. I don't really like the way they put. Well, we'll we can do this one. But anyway, we're t so now we're going to take. I see something that's going to happen to us that's going to mess us up here. But we'll just go ahead. With it. So we have x to negative one power dx minus four x to the negative 2 power dx and we're going from 1 to 2. Okay. So what's the, if we take for this first one, if we take uh, x to the negative 1 power and add 1 to it, what do we get for that? 0. So we get, we get x to the 0 power and we're, we're dividing by x to the 0 power divided by? No. Power rule. Power rule. You're not catching on. Let's do this. Divided by 0? If, okay, can you divide by 0 in math or in algebra? No, you can't. Okay. So when you see that, this is where you see if you raise here, it's dun dun dun. That's not going to work for this. So what it is, if, if you go ahead and get zero, what that becomes is instead, it becomes the absolute value of natural log of x is what that becomes. And we're going from, well, what, I'll, what I'll do is I'm going to put this at the end of it. I'm going to put the one to two over here. So 
the power rule works every time except when you go to zero. When you come up to zero and divide by zero, you have to use the natural logarithm instead. So it's kind of an exception to the power rule. Now fortunately, that doesn't happen very often. But uh, now for this one, we're going to have no such trouble with it. So if we take x to the negative 2, and that becomes x to the negative 1, and we divide by negative 1, but I forgot to put 4 out here, didn't I? And so now, so now this is what we have. And we're going between 1 to 2, like this. And then I'm just going to simplify this right, simplify this thing right over here. So we have, we have natural logarithm our absolute value of natural logarithm x ln x and we're going to subtract well we divide by negative one what's that going to be it's going to be positive one so we're going to have plus and we're going to have four over x and we're going now between one and two. Okay, so does everybody see what happened here? We changed the integral to this notation over here on the right, and we're going to plug in now two, and so we're going to get the absolute value of the natural logarithm of two, which is just going to be natural logarithm of two, plus 4 over 2, okay, thanks, plus 4 over 2, and now we're going to subtract, we're going to subtract all this but with 1 substituted in, so we're going to have the natural logarithm of 1 plus, but we're going to subtract, we have to subtract this whole thing, plus 4 over 1. And now can we simplify this further? Yep. Yeah. So natural logarithm of 2, we got that. And then we have 2, two minus 4, which is two. minus 2. And what's going to be the natural logarithm of 1? One? 1. No. Two. What's the natural logarithm of 1? 0. It's 0. And why is that? And the reason it is, it's one of the properties of logarithm. Because the log, we have log base e of 1. So what this means, natural logarithm, is what power do we have to raise e to to equal 1? Well, it's e to the 0 power is 1. So therefore, our answer to, to this is 0. So that's 0. So this is going to be our answer right here natural logarithm uh, of, oh, natural logarithm of 2, excuse me, natural logarithm of 2 minus 2. 2 minus 2, okay? Now fortunately this doesn't come up very often and it sort of pre-introduces something that, that the integral, what the derivative of of 1 derivative of ln. Well, we're going to get to that when you cycle through there. Okay, have questions on this one? Okay. What I want to do is give you, a, give you another one that's a little easier to deal with. To see how that, see if you can work that one out before I get to the next one. What if we have, what if we have the integral from from 0 to 3 of 2x 2x dx what is this what is this one going to be I want you to work work on that one and then we'll talk about it in 3 minutes 3 minutes yeah
lot of times when, to me, where you have the lower limit being zero, that uncomplicates things for you because when you subtract that other thing out, you don't have anything else to worry about. And so sometimes you're going to be able to transform your function so as to make your limit be zero. And so we're going to show how to do that if, if that's when, 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 that, when you have the opportunity to do that. It's been a really good day, other than being cold when we were outside. But that's okay. Mm -hmm. How about you? You've been doing pretty well. Mm -hmm. I've been stressing Kim. You've been stressing over Kim. Oh, that's right. You were asking about conversions, weren't you? Yeah, I figured it out. You figured it out. Now I'm just figuring out something else. I really find. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the life of an academic. You know that, right? So, uh, are you going to be happy when you're done with academics and be able just to work and take things easier? Oh, I'm going to be embarrassed. I don't think anything's ever going to be But you're not going to have to worry about moles to grams very much, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to worry about this. Much. Yeah. But I told you about my friend who wanted yeah, to be a nurse. Why did that Did I tell you about her? No. Yeah. Uh, my friend Marianne, she wanted to be a nurse, and so, but she was starting out taking the things she needed to, and her math skills were really not up there. So she wanted to see uh, if I could help her with that. So I worked with her on her math skills a little bit, but she was just so her her math skill levels were just not in the same universe of being close to being competent. So I really couldn't do anything to help her. It's sad. So when you spend your time in math and you develop the math skills like this, you're actually being competent for future things. Even if it doesn't seem like... Carver needs help with math. Well, we all need, at some level, all of us need some help with math, don't we? When I work some of these problems, you, you see me sometimes needing help with math too, don't you? I need help constantly. Yeah, yeah constantly. So, but but what, what, gradually we try to build our skill level. And that's, that's what we're doing. it's getting better. Yeah, this, but this level is just a little bit too high. Yeah, it's, so with persistence, remember, yes. Like elements mass. Yeah, go go ahead. Huh? So let's go ahead. I'm starting to remember like different elements mass because I constantly have to use it. I'm not going to need it. It's, like, it's going to be pointless information. Though. Well, isn't oxygen 16? It's 15.99. <laughs> okay, thank you. Nine. Yes, all right. So she knows exactly. What that I just know about there. Okay. Hey, so you know the number of pi. Uh, I know it's a it's about three point one four one something or other. That's all I know. So, so what we have is so this is going to be two, the integral of x dx. Now at the beginning of the school year when we were introduced, did we do problems like this a little bit? We did, didn't we? So anyway, this is going to be two. What's the integral of x? What's our divided integral of x? Squared. x squared divided by? 2. 2. And then we're going to go between 0 and 3, right? Okay. And so these will cancel be 1. And so what we get for this is 3 squared uh, minus 0 squared. And that's going to be equal to x equal to 9 minus zero, so that's going to be it, okay? 
And then if you remember, what, is, what does that look like? Well, it looks like this, the, the 2x. So this is y equals 2x. And we're going in between 0 and 3. And so what we have is base times height. So that's 2x. So base times height, that's going to be 6, right? So what is the area of this area under the curve? It's 6 times 3 divided by 2, right? Which is the same as 9. Okay, so we get the same thing by, by doing that. All right? No, dude. I know. Let me give you another one. Oh, by the way, okay, before I give you another one, are, are, is everybody seeing how to do this okay? I hope. Yes? Yes. Well, okay. yes. Okay, good. I'm going to give you another one. Okay, let's do, let's do this one. Okay, I want you to, I want you to do this one here. Are you doing this one? raise your hand and motion toward the door. Go ahead. That's fine. We'll live. Or at least I will. on top of talking about cannibalism this is like <laughs> She's not going to listen for detail. So I had one person. Well, you're in the calculus class, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so hey, Nora. What's that? I'll say hi to her. Oh, yeah. Hi, hi Nora. Thank you, Nora. Yes. And I'll, I mean, I'll put down we said hi to like Nora. Mute the video and then do a voiceover if you don't want them to hear our conversation. Yeah, well, we could. Yeah, we could do that. That's, that would that's, take that's, forever. That's, that's work. Yeah. That would take forever. That's okay. That's okay. What ha what happened is they had I did have a, a a parent who realized that her child said something during class, <coughs> and so what I did is I actually I didn't have to delete the video, but I made it unlisted. Is what I did, so it's still available if certain people need it. Okay. I got to where you, you got to plug in. Okay, good. I am not want to do that. So okay. So we have is, is four and nine and so we have x to the one half power, right? Yeah. Dx. So we're okay to there. And so what that's gonna be equal to is is uh we take the integral of that's gonna be x to the three halves times 
divided by, so times two thirds, right? And then, and then we're going to go between. But instead, but since we have a definite integral, we don't put the plus c. Yeah, normally we would. So I'm glad that she's thinking of that. Does you, Hannah, think of that? Yeah, that's a good thought. But because we have definite integrals, we can here put nine and four instead. Okay. And so what this is, it's going to be the same as two thirds. We're going to have the square root of of x to the third power, right? The two thirds. Oh, yeah, I know. X to the third power. And we're going between four and nine. And so now plugging in, we're going to get uh, we're going to get two thirds of nine cubed. And nine cubed, let's see, is going to be is it 727? So let me tell you what 9 cubed is. Is it 727? Or 720 something? 81 times 9. 81 times 9. You can't do that. 729. 729, okay. That was close. That was pretty close. So 2 thirds of 729 of the square root of 729, I'll say. Right? So that's the square root of 27. Minus two thirds of the square root of four cubed, which is that's sixty four, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And I know that's going to be eight. Uh, that's going to be eight. So two. So it'll be two thirds. I'm not even going to try to simplify square root of seven twenty nine. And then. Here, that's going to be 8, 2 times 8 divided by 3. So that's going to be 16 over 3, right? And so that's, so that is our answer, right? Yes? Why, when you converted back from a fraction exponent to the square root, why did you put 3 on the x instead of on the square root? Okay, well, that's that's really that's a good question. Yeah. Now, Elizabeth is correct because what you could do is you could go like this. Instead, you could have done it like this instead, right? Hmm? Oh, no, that's not what I'm asking. What are you asking? She's asking if well, why I didn't make a cube root instead yeah. of a square Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Yeah, so your root depends on your denominator here. Okay. Right. And then the top the, the top is what the is what the exponent goes. So 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 it's your understanding. So that that's your question now? Yeah, Answer. Okay. Yeah, and again again, this is typical. This question she asked is not a calculus question, is it? And, Correct. And so and so I find out, and even even me, that most of the struggles I have with calculus are not the calculus. It's other. It's the stuff surrounding it, that, that leading up to it. And so, and so basically, for this one, you can, for ones like this, there's a lot of complexity involved. I like to I like to check in a calculator, just to be sure. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go to, go to math, uh, finite integration here, definite integral here. So we got to go to 4 to 9. And then we're going to go to, to square root of x dx. dx. So we get that 
right? And then I'm going to test. We're going to test our answer here versus. So we have two thirds the square root of of seven twenty nine minus sixteen thirds. Two thirds. Two thirds. Square root of. Seven twenty nine. Minus sixteen thirds. Okay, what is that going to be? I'm going to go to second. I'll go to to math decimal. Same thing. Okay. Check check. All right. So this is a good answer. Okay, so it's using the same rules of, of integration we've been using, but you're putting in numbers this time. That's what you're doing. That's all it is. So what I want you to do is look at number, this, this next problem here, which is one that's, that's made more abstract with just these letters, A and B and so forth. So we have, if integral from a to b of f of x dx is a plus 2b, then what is this thing right here? Integral from, what is that going to be? If you, basically for this one, if you split this up, if you split it up like this, you'd be able to figure it out. This is the kind of thing that if you spot what's going on here, it works out to be not pretty easy. Did you get your... 
Did you? Uh, did you find out what this is yet? You got stuck. Take another minute. Yes. Have you looked at our tests yet? No, I have not. Because what what it, here's what I want to do, and, and the reason that I main reason I didn't is because I was I was fighting with this this Moby pad mm -hmm. all last night and, and this morning before I finally figured out how to make it work. So that was, that really distracted me heavily yesterday. What I want to do is I want to I want to take the test myself uh, and. And then, so I want to take it myself first, then go and then see what you have, which I haven't done yet. So, and then we'll see. But you know, sometimes I'll take a test, I'll, I'll do it that way, and I'll work something out, and then I'll go through your test and I'll say, oops, I made a mistake in my version of it. So you'll actually sometimes catch a mistake that I make. Well, not, not very often, but it happens. Yeah. So that. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at this one. Okay, as as Hannah says, and correctly I might add, is that this one right here is the same as this. So you can just replace this thing right here with a plus two b. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and solve this plus. We have 5x, and we're going between a, a to b, right? So this is going to be equal to a plus 2b plus 5. We're going to have b in place of x minus 5 what? a. And so now we can just add these together. We have we have 5b plus 2b. That's going to be 7b. And then we have a minus 5a, which is minus 4a. Is that what you got for your answer? Yeah. On that. Okay. All right. Okay. So. This is one that they take a real easy problem, but they make it harder by, by abstracting it, by putting these letters in here for it, but that, that's all that one is. And what this does, this next one here, is a is a u is kind of a u substitution, and they introduce the thing of limits. What? I'm trying to think of the best place to go next. That's a calculator one. Got these ones here. trying to think of the best thing to do next. Yeah, so this is the next problem here, right? Yep. So let's look at this one. Now this is a this is kind of a U substitution one to see see what this would be. If you can figure figure this out. This one has to do with changing the limits.
Oh, I'll end up with more clothes. 